She's like I'm starting over. One less boulder, one step closer away. See your internal vision, indecision. Don't get. You're listening to the J Stone Show at RockMetalTalk.com. That was Tunnel Vision by Sebastian Bach. Sebastian Bach, Boz. But anyway, before that, I played a band. I'm not sure how to pronounce their name. So the song was The Struck, so I'm not going to butcher their name. But anyway, I did get the other Patient Zero track, Murder Them All. They got some pretty kick-ass shit, don't they? This is a pretty kick-ass motherfucking show. You're getting fucking jigger with it. I can't believe I just said fucking jigger. I could say a few other fucking things, man. Boy, could I go off. Going off could probably be one of the best things I ever did for radio. But, you know, what are you going to do? So anyway, we agreed upon... Bringing a new guest on. They've been part of the show every week for the past few weeks. This is actually the first week I didn't play anything by him. Um, I do believe he just... <laughs> excuse me. I, he just sent me a new track. So the band The Enemy Within is finally booked on the show for January 7th. He's going to make up some flyers and a fucking video and all cool shit like that. He's going to be sending me out a promo copy of the new CD. So it's going to be a couple of weeks away. Again... Let me explain why I don't do radio after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving week, what does everybody do? You tell me. You listen to fucking Christmas music. If I could get fucking four people to fucking tune in, it'd be a miracle. It's just one of those things that no one no one wants to deal with. So I am going to continue to do the shows. I'm just not going to do a show Thanksgiving week. I'm not doing a show Christmas week. Or January, that's my time to rest at ease. I do the show. Even on vacations, I've I've brought all my shit and lugged the show. That's not happening anymore. My time is my fucking time from here on in. So the, the downtime is going to be refreshing. So when January comes and January 7th comes and the enemy within comes on the show, I haven't bored you to death with interview after interview after interview after guest after guest after my nonsense and all that shit. Speaking of nonsense, I watched the guy who plays Saul on Breaking Bad and has Better Call Saul has a show on Netflix. I don't even know what to think of it. I really like they time traveled in a big fucking porta potty. It's just weird shit. I don't I don't, I don't know if I like it or not. I've been watching Master of None with Aziz Ansari, whatever the fuck his name is. Not bad. I mean, I tend to stick with shit even if it, it's got to be really bad for me to turn it off and not watch it. But Jared from Subway, that fucking freak, he's getting 15 years in jail. If you want to talk about any of this shit, Skype me, you bunch of pussies. You ain't, got, ain't got a fucking ounce of balls. I was just reading how a cop in Florida got up and sang um, a song with a band, and he got fired. He sang Let the Killing Begin with Vital Remains, and he got fucking fired for entertainment. It's so stupid. The guy's a fan of a band. It's fucking entertainment. So would you fire a guy who repeated a line of Walter White or fucking Freddy Krueger? 
the guy's a cop. He, 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 he might be the only good cop on your fucking force. And you fucking fired him. That's fucking absurd. It's fucking stupid. Because wh- what is that? It's a song. It's a song, my man. You know how many cops have been in bands and do shit? We, we, my band was called Isle 9 at one point. And we put out a couple of CDs, you know, sold quite a bit of fucking CDs. We had a cops as fans. And they said, you know, there was, we spelled Isle 9 with an I, not the A. But to them, they liked us because Isle 9 was a place in their precinct, I guess, where all the weapons that were seized or whatever, the contraband, that's the aisle it went on. So it was pretty interesting to find that out after we already named the band. But we named that band because I told... There's a supermarket called Pathmark in New York. And I turned to the producer and said, by the time this album's over, man, Frank's going to be found dead in aisle nine at Pathmark. And that's how it came about. We just dropped the A for appearance. Um, I don't know. It just, with, with a band name, it just didn't look right. So, And then Isle of fucking something came out and it kind of ruined it. Now there's an aisle nine festival and... Um, the drummer is a fucking douche from, you know, aisle nine, the first CD millennium trial, uh, tried to go on Facebook and leave fucking bad reviews. Like he had some contract. Uh, look, I own the fucking record label. That CD was put out. You quit the band. We're not going to take it off the shelf because you quit the band. You fucking asshole. So if you have a problem again, email me directly. Jay at rock metal talk.com. I'd, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Good old drum. Oh, dad. Love to have that conversation with you. Remember when your wife wouldn't let you go out and fucking play shows? That was your excuse all the time. And that was your excuse why you play, left the band. You were a good drummer, but you aren't good enough to back me. That's certainly for fucking sure. And we, and we proved that. And your fucking stupidity getting us thrown out of fucking studios and shit like that. But whatever. That's why you're... You never went anywhere. But anyway, Guns N' Roses is supposedly getting back together. Now, I wonder what Corey Taylor's excuse is going to be so that he can continue touring. Oh, Stephen Adler's not part of it, so that doesn't count. Well, three out of five counts because it's more than half, so you better stop touring, bitch. We talked briefly with Patient Zero about the stuff going on in France. Um... Another member of the other band died that was in the club fire. All sorts of bad shits happen in the music industry. I don't feel. But that's their own personal feeling is to cancel shows over in France and overseas because of terroristic activity. Um, That's just giving these fuckers what they want. Yeah, you don't want to bring your fans out and have them shot. But. I don't think you, they care about you too because they probably already think that you're already dead for listening to that crap anyway. But that's besides the point. And then supposedly Motorhead was one of the only bands that didn't cancel. They didn't cancel. They rescheduled at this point. So that was the last thing I heard on that. But again, this is bullshit, man. We don't. We we need to just start blowing these motherfuckers up back. That's that's all I can say. And all these people say not all Muslims, not all Islam, and this and that. Yes. But why why do we have to have that opinion when they they hate Americans? Even though the ones that don't hate Americans and aren't involved in it. But we're we're, we're not supposed to not like a fucking... they, They shouldn't be killing our people in clubs for no reason. So if innocent people have to die to kill these motherfuckers... That's what's going to have to happen. That they, you know, they, they, they're in those regions and people aren't ratting them out. You need to tell us where they are, what they're doing. We, we One asshole was making a video yesterday and they blew him up right on the fucking camera and put it on Facebook. The other guys that I've been watching videos of them fucking shooting. Uh, you, you did it. You're letting these guys do it, and now innocent people have to die. They killed our innocent people. They killed the people in France. We're getting fucking tired of it. So maybe Anonymous will do something about it. Maybe they will. Maybe all of these gun fanatics are going to fucking group up, and if they find you guys, they get, you know, certain people are innocent. I'm not saying they're not, okay? Like there's a guy who pushed a Muslim lady in, in front of a train in the in the train station. That's not right. 
I, I agree, that's not right. But people are going to have hatred. You don't know if one of that guy's relatives uh, were killed and now he's in a mental state. You don't know that. But stop killing our fucking people and we're going to stop fucking bombing. You're blowing up fucking Russian airliners. This world is fucking sick. And anybody that wants to bring people into this world at this point and children into this world, it's a fucking sick place to live. It's sick. It's disgusting that we got these people that hate us because we live free in the way we want. We, you, Religion and all that shit. I, ha I have no religion. I'm the most unreligious thing on the earth. So what are you going to do? Kill me? Go ahead. I'm just sick, and I, I normally don't talk about this stuff, but it's hard enough for musicians to make a living these days, and now we got to worry about every club we're fucking going into, every marathon we run, or every fucking mud run, or zombie run, or Comic-Con, or a fucking Billy Joel concert, or a Slipknot concert. You always got to wonder, is today the day some fucking asshole is going to come here and blow us the fuck up. That's the problem. We're not scared. But we always got to question. And look over our fucking shoulder. Because there's some dumb psychotic fuck. Who thinks he's going to go to fucking heaven. With all his virgins. Let me tell you something. P bust out. You just drop porn mags over there. And a ton of beef jerky. And fucking. These guys are going to see the fu fucking light. I, they're. They're, they're brainwashed, they're sick. I'm not saying our government isn't fucked up and doesn't do fucked up shit to us and test shit and fucking GMOs and chemicals and fucking brainwashing and all of that shit and wanting to put fucking chips in us and shooting us with up with this shit and pharmaceutical this and that. We live in a fucked up world, plain and simple. Plain and fucking simple. I'm just tired of it. Now I don't even remember if I played the fucking Patient Zero song. I don't think I did. But it's just a sick world. The show's getting close. I wasn't going to do a long show today. I'm already fucking 104 minutes in, you motherfuckers. I'm just aggravated. I'm aggravated for for all, all, all the stress that I have to deal with. And then you got a question going to a fucking public event because of some fucking dumb fuck. It just gets on my nerves. I don't need shrapnel in my head to be sitting in a fucking hospital because of some asshole. So I'm going to take that risk if something ever goes down. I'm going to fucking tackle your ass. I'm going to take that risk. if Just just say I go to fucking seafood fest or, or the taste of Pinellas and some fucking asshole. And they say, look, that guy, I'm going to fucking... Bat you with a fucking 55 gallon drum garbage can, motherfucker. I'm gonna do something to know. If I'm going down, I'm going down with a fucking fight. That's all I can say. But the odds in that happen are slim to none because we're getting a little bit better of a grasp on it. But when is the fucking government gonna wake up? You should have left Saddam Hussein the run as fuck. You had a psycho over there that everybody feared. And now all fucking hell broke loose and, and we created our own fucking mess. Not us personally, but our fucking government and all of this bullshit that goes on. And and then to find out that fucking half of these workers at the airport are fucking don't even pass that criminal background check. So we, we got a lot of fucking sorting out to do in this country and it's fucked.